Greetings, comrades. Almost 11 months ago, we discussed Directive 4 of 2023, which clearly spells out the expiry date of the exemption and, uh, permits, ZEP and the Lesotho special permits. Uh, 11 months later, comrades keep on asking us about the deadline. We refer due to exemption, sorry, to Directive 4 of 2023. And we even said, take Directive 4 2023. We said, print copies. Take to your employer or to the bank. Because it is clearly written in terms of the expiry date. But 11 months later, comrades are still asking us about the expiry. We scan it through our social media platforms and you get this question not once but numerous times. We get inboxes asking us about this. <clears throat> Please go back to Directive 4 of 2023. One of my close comrades was saying to me, Comrade Mapen, I read Directive 4 of 2023. I did not see the dates. <laughs> I just laughed. So let's read Directive 4 of 2023. But before we read, uh, now people are also complaining of the availability of dates for bookings. Because people wait to apply up to the end. Towards the end, a month before or so, then everyone now starts to apply. And they then say, Comrade Mapena and your team, why are days not available? But let's read directive uh, and hear what it says. Uh, it says, press statement on the granting of exemptions to the Lesotho and Zimbabwe nationals in terms of section 31, bracket 2, bracket B of the Immigration Act 13 of 2002. <clears throat> Background. Exactly eight years ago, the Earth Wind Minister of Home Affairs decided to grant exemptions to the Lesotho nationals in terms of <coughs> Section 31, bracket 2, bracket B of the Immigration Act 13 of 2002 under certain terms and conditions. The decision was taken due to prevailing circumstances at the time, including easing the burden on the Aslam system and the fact that most of the affected Lesotho nationals were in reality economic migrants. The current exemption permits were granted in 2019. The permits issued to Lesotho nationals pursuant to the said exemption regime are approximately 54,653 and will expire on 31 December 2023. The same process was followed in respect of, of approximately 178,000 Zimbabwe nationals starting from 2009. Provision of Section 31, Bracket 2, Bracket B of the Immigration Act, 13 of 2002. <coughs> Section 31, Bracket 2, Bracket B of the Immigration Act, 13 of 2002 bestows upon the Minister of Home Affairs wide powers to grant a category of foreigners the rights of permanent residence for a specified or unspecified period when special circumstances exist which would justify such a decision. I have considered carefully the following circumstances. 1. The exemptions issued to the Lesotho Nationals will expire on 31 December 2023 and the validity of the exemption permits issued to the Zimbabwe nationals was extended by Minister's Directive No. 2 of 2023 to 31st December 2023 and by the Court to 28 June 2024. 2. <clears throat> the decision not to extend the exemptions granted to the Zimbabwe nationals is a subject of litigation brought by Helen Sussman Foundation and others. The application for leave to appeal to the Supreme Court of Appeal has already been launched following dismissal of the application for leave to appeal the negative judgment. 
the parties are still in the process of exchanging the necessary court papers. Three, the outcome of the said application for leave to appeal to the SCA or any other appeal processes are known at this stage. <coughs> Four, the Department of Home Affairs budgetary constraints. Five, the affected Lesotho and Zimbabwe nationals continue to be employed or start or conduct business in the Republic of South Africa. Six, the need to avoid further, so the need to avoid unfair and differential treatment of the same category of foreigners in similar circumstances and seven all other relevant factors. Right, let's just go through the Lesotho nationals. I have decided to grant exemptions to approximately 54,653 Lesotho nationals for a period of two years. The affected Lesotho nationals would be entitled to apply for new exemption permits under the following terms and conditions. One, a holder of the exemption permit would be entitled to work, seek employment, and conduct business in the Republic of South Africa. Two, a holder of the exemption permit due to expire on 31st December 2023 or such extended period of validity will be entitled <coughs> to apply for a new exemption permit. Three, a holder of the exemption permit would be ex entitled to sojourn in the Republic of South Africa during the validity of the exemption permit. Four, new exemption permits would be issued. So new exemption permits to be issued will expire on 29 November 2025. A holder of the five, a holder of the exemption permit will not be entitled to apply for a permanent residence in terms of section 25, 26 and 27 of the Immigration Act 13 of 2002 or any other provisions in any other law irrespective of the period of stay in the Republic of South Africa. Six, new exemption permits will not be renewable. Seven, a holder of the exemption permit will be allowed freedom of movement between Lesotho and South Africa or any other country. Eight, a holder of the exemption permit cannot change his or her status in the Republic of South Africa as contemplated in section 10 bracket 6 of the Immigration Act 13 of 2002 during the validity of the permit issued. Nine, <clears throat> when a holder of the exemption due to expire on 31 December 2023 or such extended period apply for new exemption permit, he or she must disclose and or register all the minor children born and staying in the Republic of South Africa. Let's now look into the Zimbabwe nationals. I have decided to grant exemptions to approximately 178,000 Zimbabwe nationals for a period of two years in terms of Section 31, bracket 2, bracket B of the Immigration Act 13 of 2002. The affected Zimbabwe nationals would be entitled to apply for new exemption permits under the following terms and conditions. One, a holder of the exemption permit would be entitled to work, seek employment, and conduct business in the Republic of South Africa. Two, a holder of the exemption permit due to expire on 31st December 2023 or June 2024 and such extended period of validity will be entitled to apply for a new exemption permit. Three, a holder of the exemption permit will be entitled to sojourn in the, in the Republic of South Africa during the validity of the exemption permit. Four, exemption permits to be issued will expire on 29 November 2025. Exemption permits to be issued to expire on 29 November 2025. I'm sure you are writing this down. Five, a holder of the exemption permit will not be entitled to apply for permanent residence in terms of Section 25, 26, and 27 of the Immigration Act 13 of 2002 or any other provisions in any other law irrespective of the period of stay in the Republic of South Africa. Six, exemption permits will not be renewable. Seven, a holder of the exemption permit will be allowed freedom of movement between Zimbabwe and South Africa or any other country. Eight, a holder of the exemption permit cannot change his or her status in the Republic of South Africa as contemplated in section 10 bracket six of the Immigration Act 13 
of 2002 during the validity of the permit issued. Nine, when a hold of the exemption <coughs> due to expire on 31st December 2023 or 28 June 2024 or such extended period apply for a new exemption permit, he or she must disclose and or register all the minor children born and staying in the Republic of South Africa. Seven, let us pay attention to number seven because uh, other people are now coming up with other dates. There are some that are saying the ZEP is going to expire 29 November 2024. I do not know where that date is, where they got that date from. But let's read here, number seven. I have issued directives extending the validity of the exemption permits in respect of the Lesotho Nationals to 31 December 2024 and in respect of the Zimbabwe Nationals to 31 December 2024. Uh, today is it the 5th of December. Let me read that again. I have issued, I have issued directives extending the validity of the exemption permits in respect of the Lesotho Nationals to 31st December 2024 and in respect of the Zimbabwe Nationals to 31 December 2024. The directives are next here to mark the A and the B. The directives will be published in the Government Gazette, right? Uh, they were published on the 4th of December 2023. Uh, it will be seen from the directives in the respect of the Zimbabwe Nationals that approximately 78,126 of those who applied for waivers and 10,427 of those who applied for other visas are afforded certain protections while they await the outcome of their waiver applications. In other words, there is no need for them to apply for new exemption permits as the validity of their expired exemption permits has been duly extended. <clears throat> what does this mean? If you had already applied for a waiver or to move to another visa, there is no need, as was explained almost 11 months ago, to apply for the exemption. But let's just conclude. Right. Uh, uh, so that's, that's directive four. I think it is not necessary to read the rest. That's directive number, directive four of 2023. It clearly says in the directive, the dates are there. ZEP expires on the 31st of December 2024. Full stop. What does it mean? It means you should have applied. You must have either a waiver receipt. We've been explaining this. A waiver receipt. You can then apply next year. But if by the 31st of December 2024, you have not applied for a waiver, you have not done anything, then, then, then that's your problem. It clearly says so, right? And we said, we are lobbying the government <coughs> to extend, but at this stage, there's no any announcement. So 31st December 2024, please like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, please do follow us. Otherwise, goodbye.